Weather sports has entered a whole new world, and as gadgets are growing, so is the world of sport adopting some of these gadgets, from a hydro-lifting vehicle, to a bike that can ride on water. But, before we begin please make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel, because you are going to get more interesting updates like this in the future. You can also leave comment about your favorite gadget on the video, or drop a comment of amazing ideas, that will be turned into video on this channel. Habitat Electric Hydrofoil Surfboard Jet skis does a lot of noise, electric boats are slow, and electric surfboards have riding time about 15 to 20 minutes. The electric hydrofoil combines the best of all, while being easily transportable, and giving you very special feeling. The levitation of this surfboard is amazing, it is super light, efficient, free flying over water without noise or pollution. Learning how to ride the surfboard is as easy as riding a bike. Bluetooth aerodynamical design and minimal motor diameter. This allows the surfboard to have smaller batteries. It has a total weight of 20 kilograms and a riding time of 1 hour. The recommended weight limit is 100 kilograms. But the maximum weight it can carry is 130 kilograms. It is totally safe, non polluted silent and addictive. You can assemble it in as little as 5 minutes. It has a max speed of 35 kilometers per hour. Flyboard by Zapata. The flyboard is a hydrolifting vehicle which uses the jet propulsion of a jet ski to power itself. The flyboard was invented by a French watercraft rider, Frankie Zapata. The design allows the device to climb out of the water and be stable in the air. This was achieved by the underfoot propulsion enhanced stabilization. The water from jet ski passes through 55 foot hose with enough power to reach up to 40 feet in the air. It can reach speeds of 118 miles per hour. Flyright by Zapata Racing Zapata really hit the nail on the head with this water-powered jet ski. The Flyright is a two-seater device that looks like the shell of a small quad bike. It attaches to just about any jet ski, using a tailored hose and jet capture system, and the water runs up the middle of the bike, and is forced out through twin steerable jets at the front, a set of internal sensors and computers, that micro-adjust to keep the bike upright, so it should be a very accessible experience that most people can enjoy. The four selectable flight modes cater for kits up to advanced user stage, there is throttle assistance, and an automated takeoff routine, if a self-balancing water hover that sounds a bit dull compared to mastering the flyboard. The flyright has its own special sauce, built into a barrel roll button, that becomes active once you've got enough altitude. Pressing it spins you wildly around before turning you to vertical, and looks like a pretty crazy ride. In advanced mode, you can spin the thing twice, and that'll really mess your hair up. Beyond that, Zapata says it handles more or less like a flying jet ski, and that it's perfectly intuitive to get around on. You can take off or land within right on the beach if you've got a steady hand, and since it weighs only 33 kilograms, it'll be easy for two people to lift it and throw it in the back of a van. The Flyright is on sale now, for $8,600. Manta 5 Hydrofoil Bike The Manta 5 is the world's first hydrofoil lead bike. It is the first bike that is intended to be used on water. It replicates the experience of riding a bike on land. But in the water this bike can be really good for people love exploring the cool and calm lakes with their loved ones. The bike is set to be easy to use of people of all fitness level. Even though the water can easily drag you down during paddling, the built-in pedal assist can help those who are less physically able and is completely adjustable. The max speed of this bike is estimated to be 12 miles per hour and modular design make it easy to set up. The price of this bike is estimated around $9,000. The quad ski is an all-terrain vehicle. It combines all the best qualities of a quad bike and a jet ski. It was developed by the American company called Gibbs Sports Amphibians. This vehicle comes in two different models. 
The maximum speed of this machine is 72 km per hour, and it doesn't matter if you are on water or on land. The vehicle has an engine with a capacity of 140 horsepower and a volume of 1,293 cubic centimeters. This allows the Quadski to overcome obstacles confidently and in difficult off-road conditions. It weighs 652 kilograms and is capable of carrying two passengers weighing 185 kilograms. The Quadski can transform in as little as five seconds, and all you have to do is to press one button. The Guana 29 Amphibious Boat It is not every day you see a boat mounted on a pair of tracks. The Iguana 29 is an 8 sitters boat that can ride on both land and water. The Iguana Yatch is made by a French company Iguana. It can reach speeds of up to 30 knots. The V-shaped hull helps it cut effortlessly through the waves. It is powered by a Mercury Verado 300 horsepower engine. The amphibious wheels folds up when in the water to become part of the shape of the hull. You can control the boat with an app in real time. The Iguana includes a carbon hull, outboard engine, inboard engine and hydraulic system with electronic command, high gloss hull painting, leather upholstery, flexity deck, both sound system, freshwater shower, refrigerator, stainless steel handrails, and a retractable cleats. The price of this yacht started $375,000. In Space Seabreacher The Seabreacher is a two-seat semi-submersible personal watercraft with a shape based on that of a dolphin, and the ability to imitate a dolphin's movement. Unlike conventional watercraft that only operate on a two-dimensional plane, the Seabreacher operates more like an aircraft with full three axes of control pitch, roll, and yaw. This allows the vessel to carve left and right, jump over, dive under, and cut through the waves. The latest model is even capable of a 360-degree barrel rolls on the water. The Seabreacher is only meant to dive just beneath the surface for brief durations. You typically do not go lower than 5 to 6 feet, and it will also depend on your level of experience as a pilot. If you dive deeper than 5 feet the engine will start to stall due to lack of air, but not to worry, the sea breacher will pop up back to the surface of the water, and you just turn it back on. The sea breacher uses an axial flow jet pump, meaning it takes in water through a low pressure inlet, uses an impeller to compress the water, then pushes it out a nozzle that's smaller than the inlet to create thrust. Top speed on the surface is 50 miles per hour and 25 miles per hour. When below the surface, the Sea Breacher is available in Shark Style X model, Killer Whale Y model, or Dolphin Style Z model. The price of the Sea Breacher differed to the model you want. The price of the Sea Breacher starts at $80,000. Foiler. The foiler is the dream yatch everyone would wish to have. This yatch gives you luxury and line speed all in one. This yatch is made 100% from carbon fiber, and has been carefully engineered to work like the finest race car. The yatch has two modes of operation. The fly mode, or the float mode. Which gives you the option, to cruise in the yatch, or go super fast like a speeding race car. It is powered by a 740 horsepower stratic propulsion system. It allows you to fly above the waters at thrilling speeds and enjoy the feel of effortless flight, anchored by four powerful foils. Its max speed while foiling is 40 knot and a max speed of 28 knot while planing. The price of this yacht is $850,000. Thanks for watching this video to the end. If you want to get related content like this, subscribe to Techie Square. Goodbye. Audio Jungle.